So, feelings and emotions. Many of us get these, not necessarily confused, but interlinked and crossed within the umbrella heading of emotion. And then we subsequently split it out into feeling and then emotion, but then still keep them as one entity. So when we look at feelings, feelings are actually an internal process. It's part of our sense. And it's something that we ourselves have as a guidance system. So if it's good, we follow it. If it's bad, we tend to generally go away from it. So in the same way, like pain and pleasure, we're designed to go towards things that are good for us, but then we're designed to run away from things that aren't good for us. So what then happens is once we get a feeling, we show up as that kind of expression of that feeling. And that's then when it becomes external and therefore it's visible and therefore it becomes an emotion. So it's then energy in motion and you in motion as energy then show up in that manner. So the emotion is then expressed externally, but if it gets too much, for instance, whereby we're looking at anger, then nobody knows how to hold space for it and nobody knows how to deal with it because anger in terms of the felt sense is frustration. So the frustration, people don't know how to deal with it. And because they then don't know how to deal with the frustration element, then they get frustrated when people are angry. And then we have closing off and closing down because nobody knows how to hold space for it or manage it effectively. And then subsequently, we have to then get that expression, which is the anger, and then suppress it in order to take it back internally to make it a feeling. But that cycle then subsequently leads to us getting to a point whereby we then express that frustration but then it makes us internally a problem. So that problem that we then become internally then has to be dealt with and resolved, but then we have to go through, or rather back through experiences in order to work out exactly where it stemmed from, what we need to do in terms of managing it, and in terms of going back and healing what was put out of balance at some point in our lives. But until we can distinguish between feelings and emotions as separate, and how they are formed, then we can't work out the process that's required then to ultimately deal with it effectively. So as always, until next time, trust the process, and it's bye for now.